Hello there, welcome back to the video. In this video, we are going to see how we can create page level filters in Power BI. And we'll also go to the use cases of page level filters. So here, as you can see that it's a, it is a very simple dashboard which has been created. And now what I want is by using only single slicer or filter, I just want to filter out all these visuals which are present on this page or on this sheet. Okay, so here you can see the filter pane. I will just open the filter pane. Let me close the visualization pane. And you can see here filter on this page option. And here it is telling to add data fields over here. So what we will do is we will drag and drop the data fields over here. I am having orders table. And from this orders table, what I will do is I will pick up the customer segment field and I will drop it over here. So we can see these options, consumer, corporate, home office and small business. So the use case of this thing is whenever you want to create different dashboards for a different customer segment, like you want to create a different dashboard for consumer, a separate one for corporate, for home office and for small businesses. So at, at that time, this feature is very useful and it makes it very convenient to duplicate also the pages and use this uh, page level filters. So what I will do is I will select the consumer. So you can see the visuals has been changed. So this filter has been applied on the page level for this sheet only. And if I am switching to corporate, it is again changing. If I am switching to home office, it is changing and also to small businesses. So by using this technique, what you can do is you can create as many dashboards or replicate the dashboards and you can give different filters or different page level filters to every, uh, every sheet or every page and it will act completely as a new dashboard. Sometimes what happens uh, uh, for some particular business unit in organization, they want the same uh, visuals or the same uh, requirement is there for the dashboard. But the only uh, difference is the filtering part. So some might be having or uh, requiring a, a dashboard only dedicated to the cus consumer customer segment. Some might be only for corporate customer segment or home offices. So in that case, uh, this feature becomes very feasible to be used. So I hope you have got a clear cut idea to how to integrate and how to filter, uh, how to use this filter option on only the page level. We will see the filter option on repeat report level in the next video. Thank you very much for watching the video.